The human brain is one of the smartest on the planet. However, there are certain things that they simply did not participate in dealing with. One is the paradox. We evolved to think about reality in a certain way, but there are paradoxes that suggest that reality doesn't work the way we think. And now some physicists claim to have solved a paradox that has existed for 50 years, but have they really solved it? And what are the other weirdest paradoxes? Get ready to find out. Fermi Paradox Many of you are probably familiar with the Fermi Paradox. It was named after the Italian physicist Enrico Fermi, famous for creating the first nuclear reactor. This paradox seeks to answer the question, where are the aliens? Considering that our star and Earth are part of a relatively young planetary system compared to the rest of the universe, and that it is possible for a civilization to achieve interesting travel during this period, it seems that we should have already been visited by some form of extraterrestrial intelligence. Some argue that this isn't really a paradox, as we can only speculate about the existence of intelligent life elsewhere. However, the so-called Drake equation is used in this paradox to estimate the number of possible civilizations in our galaxy. This transmission uses seven variables to calculate the number of civilizations detectable in the Milky Way. This estimate gave us the idea that there could be millions of Earth-like planets with civilizations elsewhere. However, that was in 1961, when we still didn't know about any planets orbiting stars other than our own. It was only recently, in 2020, that astronomers using data from the spatially accepted Kepler discovered the existence of more than 300 million planets with Earth-like conditions transmitted by the Milky Way. The analysis concluded that approximately half of the sun-like stars in our galaxy have rocky planets in habitable zones, where liquid water could exist on their surfaces. In fact, planets are extremely common and outnumber all stars in our galaxy. The silent universe, now that we know about the number of existing planets and the possible advanced civilizations, a question persists, why does the universe remain silent? Maybe we're close to finding out soon as technology advances, or maybe we've already been visited by distant civilizations and we just don't know it yet. Recently, there have been unexplained UFO sightings and some believe extraterrestrials are already here. Concrete evidence would put an end to this paradox. The grandfather paradox, this is another famous paradox, which involves going back in time to eliminate your grandfather, we mean, erase his existence. We know that everyone here has love for their grandmothers, but this is just an example. Again, imagine yourself as a time traveler going back in time to perform this action, erasing your grandfather's existence. Then, you return to the present, but the problem is that, with your grandfather gone, your father would not have been born and you realize that you yourself would not exist. Everything related to you would be erased including your family, friends, belongings, and history. Therefore, you would not even have started it initially, making it impossible to perform such an action. Some scientists believe that, if that happened, an alternate timeline would be created or even enter a parallel universe. Polchinski's Paradox The late and renowned theoretical physicist Joseph Polchinski is known for having written a book on string theory. However, Polchinski also created a potentially paradoxical situation involving a billiard ball being sent through a wormhole that allows time travel. In this scenario, the billiard ball is shot into a wormhole at such an angle that, if it continues on its course, it will exit the wormhole in the past at the correct angle to collide with its former self, preventing it from entering the hole. Earthworm first. However, some physics students found solutions that avoided inconsistencies, causing the ball to emerge from the future at a different angle than the one used to generate the paradox. By giving a light touch instead of pulling his younger self completely away from the wormhole, that touch alters the trajectory in such a way as to allow him to travel back in time at just the right angle to give his younger self that light touch. Now, here's something that will make you rethink reality. Observer Paradox The observer paradox is a very strange thing, and of all the bizarre facts of quantum theory, few are stranger than Schrodinger's famous fable about a cat that is both alive and dead. It's important to point out that this is just a thought experiment and no animals were harmed. The paradox describes a cat locked inside a windowless box, along with radioactive material, a Geiger counter, a hammer, and a container of deadly poison. Radioactive material has a 50% chance of decay. If the Geiger counter detects a radioactive particle emitted, it triggers the hammer, which shatters the vial of poison, leading to the cat's death. However, you would only know if the cat is alive or dead when you open the box. Therefore, until the box is opened, the cat would be both alive and dead. How is that possible, you might ask? That's because the act of looking at matter actually changes the outcome of what happens to it. You cannot know if something is present unless you observe it. The double slit experiment, now you might be thinking that this is all very strange. But consider another observer paradox known as the double slit experiment. It is the most famous physics experiment of all time. 
Imagine a wall with two slits in it, and you throw tennis balls at the wall. Some of the balls will hit the wall, while others will go through the gaps. If there is a second wall behind the first one, some of the balls that pass through the cracks will hit it. Now, if you mark where the balls hit the second wall, you would expect to see two stripes of marks approximately the same size as the slits. Sounds simple enough. However, in the double slit experiment, something terribly strange happens when you pass light through the slits. Light is not just a wave, it is also a particle called a photon. If you send a single photon through the double slits, it creates an interference pattern on the back wall, as if it were interfering with itself. It is as if the photon passed through both slits simultaneously. But here's what makes it even weirder, simply watching the double slit experiment causes the photon's behavior to change, as if they were alive and knew they were being watched. We know this because if the observer tries to determine which slit the photon is passing through, the interference pattern simply disappears. The bottom line is that observing a photon can alter events that have already occurred. How is this possible? We still don't have a definitive answer. Maybe you are the person who will solve this riddle. The black hole information paradox, one of the greatest paradoxes in physics is the black hole information paradox, a puzzle resulting from the combination of quantum mechanics and general relativity. Calculations show that physical information can permanently disappear inside a black hole, leading to a degradation of physical states to the same state. However, this is controversial, since quantum mechanics states that information can never be destroyed. Let's say you burn two different letters onto a piece of paper. Rebuilding them from the ashes would be nearly impossible, but not quite. The small differences in smoke, temperature, and ash amount would still contain information about the two separate cards. The problem with black holes is that they absorb stuff and then, over a very, very long period of time, they radiate what's absorbed in the form of Hawking radiation. Unfortunately, unlike the smoke, temperature and ash resulting from burning a letter, Hawking radiation does not contain information about what the black hole has absorbed. This is because all Hawking radiation is identical, which implies that black holes destroy information about the universe. So do evaporating black holes really destroy information, or does information escape as the black hole evaporates? A new generation of physicists are championing the idea that information does escape a black hole through its radiation, and they have identified an invisible surface called the extreme quantum surface that resides within the black hole's event horizon. This surface appears to encode the amount of information that has been radiated by the black hole, evolving over the black hole's lifetime according to expectations if the information escapes. Apparently, something can escape a black hole. This problem has not yet been completely resolved and is still being studied. Once we have a definitive answer, we'll let you know.